One of the greatest lies promoted by apostate Christianity mm -hmm. is that God loves everyone. Yeah. All right? If God loved everyone, he would need to love everyone from Adam to the last person born. That's and everyone. I believe he does. <laughs> I'm an ordained minister with a religious degree. So, I can marry anybody. I can marry you guys right now. So Jesus said, if you love me, do this one thing. It says, keep my commandments. He that says he knows me doesn't do what I say is a liar and the truth isn't in me. And how do I not keep his commandments? I don't know. I'm not you. I'm, you know? I keep all I mean, of his are you, commandments. Are you living in fornication? No, I live in, I keep you have, all his have, commandments. Do you have premarital sex? I mean, I guess. Okay. Well, That's not in the Ten Commandments. Yeah, what if God just loves you? We have not followed cunningly devised fables when we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received from God the Father honor and glory when there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And this voice which came from heaven we heard when we were with him in the holy mount. Jesus went up into a mountain, and when he was set, his disciples came unto him, and he opened his mouth, and he taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Hail Satan! Blessed are they which are persecuted. Jesus said, Blessed are ye when men shall revile you, and shall persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that when he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures, and that he was seen of Cephas, and then of the twelve. After that he was seen of above five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto this present, but some are fallen asleep. After that, he was seen of James, then of all the apostles. And last of all, he was seen of me also, as one born out of due time. Sir, you're being rude. God bless you, ma'am. Uh, it's the gospel. That was the gospel according to Paul. What's that? The, the Gnostic Gospels? I don't. I don't take heed to the Gnostic Gospels. They're false. They're not false. Are you in the New Age? They're not in the New Age. I'm into the Gnostic Gospels. You're also. You're in the New Age then. That's, not That's the Gnosticism. Gnosticism is its Gnosticism. Own. Gnosticism is its own. How do you describe the, the contradictions of the uh, Gospel of Thomas versus the Bible? How do you describe the the source Gospel, the source Gospel of Q, the source Gospel of Thomas? 
Because she didn't answer my question. Right. There are inconsistencies. Yeah, there are. There are also that's because that's because it's not canonized. Between the not, no, 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 there's not. No, there's not. All no, there's not. They all paint a picture. They, you get the full picture when you take them all and they count. The Gospel of John is very different than the other three. The Gospel of John shows Christ as I love the Gospel the of John, God but the Gospel of John is very different. You have to admit that we have. Well, it's because it's it's writing of a different perspective. It's writing of Jesus, the and Messiah. So, yeah, and so is the Gospel of Thomas. No. Yeah. No, that's inconsistency. It's written in actual quote. No, it's Matthew not not canonized. King, uh, this this is God's perfect, man. infallible word. God chose. God chose to preserve His word. Right there, it is. It's not in the Gospel of Thomas. White, not God in the Gospel of Judah. Not in the Gospel of Mary. It's right here. Sixty-six you books. Have, you've read the canonized of Mary scripture. Matthew? No, I haven't because it's false. You've never read the gospel. Of I don't Mary. need to. I got I got God's complete, fulfilled scripture right God here. God literally spoke through. Mary if you Mary. don't think God is perfect enough that He could preserve His scripture right here in one book, well, wait, you're following she's, a weak she's, God. She's trying to, she's trying to talk to you. Like, like, right, I'm talking to her, but it's 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 not in the canonized scripture, sir. Go and tell, tell something that says that we can't get from the Word of God. No, I agree. I'm not. A, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just also saying that. Human man decided what was going to go into the canon. Human man decided what was going to go into the canon. And that do, is do, you not, do, you, do you not believe that God could uh, inspire man to decide yeah, what's going to be put in the canon? I believe that God inspired man to write the Gospel of Thomas and the Gospel of Hugh and the Gospel of Mary. Matthew. But those are things that the church rejected. Why did yeah, the church the reject church them? The church rejected them. God did not reject them. God did never reject them. The church them. is the body of Christ. But God never rejected them. The church God is the body of Christ. Them. I'm sorry, but God never rejected them. Maybe not your God. God, there's only one God. That's and right. One true, on one true living right God. Right here. But uh, there's only one God. But God there's is, lots of false gods and if you believe that, not, that, that if not. you believe in the God of the gospel of uh of the God of the gospel Thomas of Mary and, and, and Judah and Mary and, and, is, and the God of the Gospel of Thomas is the same God that you have. <laughs> you should you should watch Third Adam three. Right. Go watch Third Adam three. If you'll do that for me, I will. And so, that's that's a great to. that's a great video that that Extremely will uh, fascinating. that will I've show you some everything. things. I've read the Bible from cover to cover. I've read all of the Gospels. I've read all of the Gospels. What's your favorite verse in the Bible? Uh, all of them. Yeah. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. 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 But it's hard to say because my favorite verse comes from the Gospel. I love the Gospel of Thomas. I do, in my very heart and soul, believe that that is just as equally uh, you know, valid as any of the synoptic Gospels. You know, you know a Bible verse from the Bible? Do I know a Bible yeah, verse from the Bible? Can you quote this one? Let me see my favorite. You know, I was not raised in... Uh, But you have a bachelor's. In I do have a bachelor's. I wasn't raised and memorizing them. I didn't memorize them. So you don't know one Bible verse in I mean, I do know Bible verses, but I don't know them verbatim. Go ahead and give us one in general. Then. Why don't you give us a verse out of Thomas? A verse out of Thomas? Yeah. And when you shall be disturbed, then you will see. And that's my favorite. Can I, can I have a question, though? Like, simply from, like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to be, like, hateful. I don't, like, she's more intelligent as a as, as, as a You know, people have lost the ability to speak logically, yeah, yeah, yeah. inject their emotion into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're more than happy to dialogue, but we but need here's to be polite. Thank you. Why, why speak of hate, though? What's that? Why speak of hate? Oh, like, why sit out here? Hate. Why sit out here for with, with kids that are developing? 
and kids that kids are, are the, 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 what, what kids are developing out here? You have you have. I used to roam these streets when I was 14 yeah. years old. I, I grew up in Silver Springs down the road. I used to come down here, and I'm, I'm like, once again, I'm not trying to start an argument. No. I've had my Maybe issues with you guys, but I'm not trying to start an argument. I have come here from the time I was 18 years old. I was, uh, I'd appreciate if you weren't recording me without my consent, but that's neither one or there. Um, I, uh, I had a hard time growing up. You know, I, I, I had nothing. Right. I had, my father was a drug addict. My mother struggled her fucking ass off to just make ends meet. I roamed the streets okay. while I was around. So Meanwhile, what's your problem with this me, um, Well, I came over here and I see you guys spreading hate. Well, how were we spreading hate? What was hateful that he was saying? I come over here and I see God hates, God hates queers, God hates fags. Where's that at? Do you have something no, on no, that? No, no, not, not tonight. Not, not tonight. Maybe it wasn't specifically you guys. But this corner right here specifically, 7th and what the, whatever, uh, 16th. This corner specifically, huh? you guys used to, uh, not you guys. I don't no, know, it's you me. Guys I've, been, I've been coming out here for probably like 18 years. Yeah, I don't so know it's you probably personally, me. but you <laughs> like... A lot of people come out here and say, you know, God hates gays. God hates this. Well, God he does. Do you know Why? what? Do you know homosexual is? Thought, let, me, thought, let, me, let me define what a homosexual is. Um, it's called a worker of iniquity. A worker of iniquity is someone who lives in unrepentant sin. Psalm 5.5 5 says so, God hates all workers of iniquity. But we're not going to talk about... That's not me how, saying it. I'm, that's me to, quoting the Bible. We're not going to talk first, about okay? how Catholics molest children. God well, hates them. A lot of Catholics aren't Christian. Be quite but also, in my like in my question, and this is my genuine okay. question that I've also asked school general, like this is a question that we've been asking for a long time. Okay. Homosexuality was not homosexuality as an actual word, mm -hmm. you know, translated from the Hebrew and from Aramaic that the Bible was originally written in was never actually in there. Well, so how do you? What do you say okay. to that? I, I'd, I'd say Leviticus 18.22, which says, I shall not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination. Mm -hmm. You know what the next verse is? Not to lie with animals. That's the grouping God puts that in. Yeah. Abomination is the strongest word of disgust God has towards a certain But thing. that was not thought, original Aramaic. I thought God didn't write the Bible. Holy man of God spake here, moved by the Holy Spirit. That was actually yeah. my message for me. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. You guys know more about than I do. Yeah. That's, that's what Peter was talking about. He said, we have not followed after cunningly devised fables when we made known unto you the power of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. But, here's but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Can I, can I ask a question as, as, as you guys all know way more about the religion thing than I do, right? It's not about the religion. I, was, about I, I, grew up, I grew up I went to Seminole Heights Baptist right here for my entire youth. You I went, went there. You went there longer than I did. Yeah, I went there and from the, from, the, from the time I was about like 10 years old to the time I was about like 20 years old. My thing is, why would God spread hate? Why, why would you not love everyone God, around God you? spreads truth. All right, He brings preachers out to tell the truth. You know why? Because Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. All truth points to Christ. But wouldn't, and this is my thing, and this has always been my thing. And I, I, there are many preachers out there that a lot of Christians even consider heretical. Why doesn't Jesus' blood cover all? Once again, I want to know why you're recording us for our... Uh, because that's what we do out here. But that's, you know, once again, that's just my... Now you're, you're on camera right there, right. Too, too yeah. cameras, so And you're free to like, leave. You're free to leave, right? Yeah, when we get that. But, like, why doesn't Jesus' blood cover everybody? Like, it you does. can't... It does cover all his children. All those Yeah, so all that, his children. We're all his children. called before the foundation of the we world. We are all his children, though. No. We are... God created first, every John single one of us. Say, John said in 1 John 3, 8, he who... He God created every single person, though. You can't tell me that the starving children in Africa he who haven't create, been able to he, even reach the gospel. He them. Yeah, but what? Oh. So you're telling me that God didn't create, first, that He did first, not, all of them are not His children. First, first, no, no. John then that's how I know you're not a true believer. No, first John. This is how we know who the children of God are and who the children of the devil are. God created all men. But we're all God's that, creation. Yes, we're all but God's you also creation. understand that the but, devil himself and the creation of hell was a creation of the, of the church, here's, here's right? Here's my thing. You guys realize how ignorant you are, right? 
It's a creation of what? Ignorant of what? Well, ignorant of what? We may be ignorant, ignorant of, of the of the translation of the original scriptures. Ignorant. And of, what what version do you use? Philosophies. Because I can and, and, King James. Like, yeah. Like, when I was when I was a child, I was I, I was knew. raised to believe that you know, Jesus loves me. This I know because the Bible tells me so. But the yada, Bible yada, yada, the yada, Bible yada. Doesn't tell you but. So. You guys no, come out here and you, you guys right. bash homosexuals right. because Before you guys feel the way you do. Like, why is that? Well, it's I'm not, not, about, I'm not it's trying not to fight about, with you. I'm not trying to fight with you. Feel. It's, it's not, about how God feels. We're not out here to pick on hey, homosexuals hey, or anybody else. We're here to preach the word of God. From the bottom of my heart, and you guys can believe whatever you want. That is 100% your right, and I love you for that. But God... The scripture is not given of any private interpretation. The scripture The scripture is beautiful... And it is wonderful. It's the word of God. And it is the word of God. But you know what also is the word of God? The Bhagavad Gita and the Torah. No, 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 no. And the fucking Torah. Yeah. yeah the, well, the Torah is the. The Torah is, is the fucking is, is Old the Testament. Yeah, you're, you're supposed to. Yeah, but, yeah, and the Quran. But you're, you're going outside of those things. The but, Quran, but, the on. same God that is in the Quran and the same God you're that wrong, is in the Torah wrong. is the same God that is in that. In that book right there, I do, promise. Do you know you. that the God of the of the uh, Quran does I'll not, give you the does not have a son. Does not have a son. You know that, right? They speak adamantly of Jesus in the in the Torah in the in the Quran. Yeah, but they don't they don't say that he was raised from the dead. They don't believe he's God. In yeah. Yeah. yeah, they contradict the Bible on that. But hey, listen. Yeah. One of the greatest lies promoted by apostate Christianity mm -hmm. is that God loves everyone. All right. If God loved everyone, he would need to love everyone from Adam to the last person born. That's and everyone. I believe he does. Okay. Now, in Romans chapter 9, it says, mm -hmm. Jacob I loved, but Esau I hated. So there's one person that he hated right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So right there, he doesn't love everyone because there's one he specifically says he hated. Now, if you go to Psalm 5, 5, it says, God hates all workers of iniquity. Mm -hmm. All right. That's a lot more. And then Jesus says in Romans 7, he says... Um, Many will come to me in the last day and say, Lord, what about us? We did all these wonderful works and we prophesied and we cast out demons in your name. What about us? He says, depart from me. I never knew you, ye that work iniquity. Okay, he says, wide is the road that leadeth to destruction. Many go in that way, but straight and narrow is the way that leadeth to life. And few there be that find it. So the few, there's few that find it. That's it. And there's a wide road to people that die in their sins that are works of iniquity. So that, that's, that's the Bible. All right. So God, the God I loves everyone, brings people to a false conversion, a false hope, and usually. Uh, I don't puts disagree them with you that that's what's in the Bible. I really don't, because I, I really do believe that that's what's in the Bible. I just know history. History doesn't lie. That man wrote the Bible, and the Bible is legit. Like it is legit, and it is probably God inspired. Like it really is. But you cannot say it is more God inspired than any other work of God inspired. Literature out there. Yeah, like, I can. Have you ever read the Book of Enoch? Yes, not in depth. Like I haven't studied it like in depthly, but I have read. I have read everything in the Bible. I've read the Apocrypha. I've read extra canonical gospels as well. So you believe in uh, dinosaurs being more contemporary towards us? Because in, in Daniel, in the Apocrypha, Daniel basically kills a dragon. They call them dragons back then. I mean, it's hard to say because, like, I also believe in science. So, okay. I and believe in... So you believe we're on a spinning ball traveling through space without any purpose? No. Not Do you believe in purpose. the Big Bang? I don't know if I believe in the Big Bang. You believe in evolution, there's, there's, billions of years? I do believe in evolution, but I don't necessarily believe in the Big Bang. Like a end all be all theory. Do you believe that we're, we're spinning through spinning? I do going believe we're spinning the through here? space. Because yeah. okay. that's unbiblical. Yeah. You know that ev I know. every every experiment man has ever done yeah. to try to prove the motion of the Earth has failed. You know that it proved that the Earth is stationary. Did you know that for thousands of years? You know, my boss is a flat earther. He's yeah. tried to convince me very, very thoroughly. Well, well the North. He's given me a lot of information. Yeah, so you probably know. <laughs> yeah. You know, and that's biblical. Yeah. That's what the Bible says. Yeah. All right. So if you, I just can't. I can't in my heart and soul and all my studies and everything that I've studied throughout all the religions believe that this is it. 
like that that is the end all be all scripture because like I and I truly do like I've gone through my phases I love the Bible I really do but like I can't believe that it's the end all be all scripture and I I truly believe that universal salvation is true I believe Jesus died on the cross for our sins and I believe that that covers everybody even if they don't believe in him even if they say fuck you or whatever right. I think that that still covers them okay, so here, here's the thing I think they're still going I don't even I don't believe in hell I believe that was a creation of the fucking church okay. as, to control people that is not in the Bible Fucking Gehenna is in the Bible. Gehenna is in the Bible. So is Hades. Yeah, so, so is, is Hades. Tartarus. You know, but here's the thing. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, no, I've lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. I, it's okay. I feel you. <laughs> I feel you on that. It's hard. I've gone through this conversation many times before. I, uh, I don't know. It's hard for me because, like, and I run a gospel myself. I run Third Eye Gospel. I run a podcast. I run a whole Instagram. Like, I run a whole thing where I try to promote a progressive Christian ministry. So it's, it's important to me. Like, it's not something that I just say, oh, I, I just fight with people on the street. I straight up, this is my thing. Here's the thing, see. <laughs> You're, what you have is a, a crisis of faith regarding God's word. You don't believe it to be true. You believe it to be of man. No, I believe now, it to be true, but I believe it all to be true. And to understand the, you know, to understand the battle, you got to understand that we're fighting between good and evil. There's a battle going on between Satan and God. All right. And what if there's what if not though? Satan, but listen, here's what Satan. if there's not though? Right. Right. What if Satan, take but, Satan out of this. But what take, if there is? Take Satan out of this, though. Like, take him out, okay? Like, what if that is not the case? Well, like, what if God just loves you? Well, like, what if he just loves the fuck out of everyone? Right. And what if it's true? What if there's a battle between good and evil? And what if Satan... Then, wait, honest listen, to God, can I, I feel more... Though? Yes, okay. you can. Yeah, you're right. So, here's what happens. Satan, what his, his motive is... The way he does things is he causes people to doubt God's word. He did that with Eve. He caused her to question it. He deceived her. And then he called God a bold-faced liar. Yeah. So what he's done, he's been using that same um, pattern throughout all of mankind, causing men to doubt God's word and then cause, calling God a liar. So, but there's, if, like, inconsistencies in that because of the fact that, like, so for the instance of, like, okay, people who can't read, what are you Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. What if they can't hear? Well, that, what if they can't that's read? Right. Well, that's what if they can't see? God sends preachers. Yeah, but what if they can't do any of those things? Listen, God said that he will not lose any that he's given to Jesus. Wow. Right? So anyone who's going to be saved will be saved. All right, exactly. God says so. God says so. So what if we're you know, all just saved? He's, yeah, but not everybody's saved. Jesus said in his word that many go in the, the wide road. All right? And straight now is the way to lead life for few to be that find it. So it's not as broad. It's not like, I mean, look at this world, man. Look at this world. We've got a sodomite infestation. We've got people killing children and infanticide going on. We've got wicked rulers. we got, you know, wars and rumors of wars. We've got all the attributes. I don't disagree. Yeah, we got all the attributes of a cursed yeah. nation. Yeah. Okay? Why? Because we're wicked. Because we're just, God's, you know, when God curses a nation, you know what he does? He lets them do their own sin. He takes his restraining grace from them and then lets them go wild. And that's what our country's doing. And now we've got we've got some craziness going on. I mean, think about I mean, it. I think agree. of the craziness that's going on. So, you know. I don't disagree with you. I think that shit's hit the fan. And it's very likely the end of times. I see all yeah. the signs. So believe um, God's word, man. I'm serious. Believe God's word. But the thing is, word. is, like, for me, and this is, and this is where it gets hard. Because, like, the, the point is to believe God's word with all your heart and soul and, and life and stuff. Well, and love, love Jesus God with all your heart and love God. That's a great commitment. Yeah, you know? And I do. Like, there you, is nothing you, you more that how, I commit myself to. You know to. how you love? I... No, listen, the greatest commandment is to love God with all your heart, mind, and soul, right? Yeah. And Second is love your neighbor as you yeah, love yourself. Yeah, and I do. So, how do you love God? He's a spirit. You can't give him a hug. How do you love God? I literally, I pray. I read scripture. I read all the scripture, though, because in my... In my personal opinion, and this is, again, my personal opinion, God gave us a lot. God did not just give us the Holy Bible. And he, gives, the he gave us a definition of how to love him. Do you but want to know what it us, is? He gave us a lot of definitions, bro. No, he gave us one. Definition. No, he gave us There's tons. only one way to love God. No, right there in the not. Bible. Yeah, there's only one way. 
You know what it is? You know what it is? So Jesus said, if you love me, do this one thing. It says, keep my commandments. He that says he knows me doesn't do what I say is a liar and the truth isn't in him. And how do I not keep his commandments? I don't know. I'm not you. I'm, you know? I keep all I mean, of are you Are you living in fornication? No, I live in, I keep have, all his have, commandments. Do you have premarital sex? I mean, I guess. Okay. Well, That's not in the Ten Commandments. Yeah, it is. Thou shalt not commit adultery. All right, the not only, adultery. The only, the only sex that is sanctioned by that gives glory to God, that blesses God, that God is. You ready for it? I'm gonna tell you what it is. Yes, but is in sex between a husband and a wife. But in the early beginning, most earliest times, husband and wife did not did not exist. That is a man made legal yeah, thing. God made Adam and made Eve. They weren't it's been, it's married. Been that way. He didn't say and they were married. No. Did he ever say fact, and they were married? Well, you know, here's the thing. I don't, I don't, I'm pretty sure they were never fucking married. I don't believe you need to go get a marriage license to be yeah. married, all right? All right, well. But, I mean, if, if you if you get married in church, did, did, do you have some authority? Do you have any... Do you need a specific... What if it's my own specific spiritual... Like, you know, I'm what? an ordained minister. Right, well, uh, here's the thing. <laughs> I'm an ordained minister with a religious degree. So... I can marry anybody. I can marry you guys right now. So you two, are, you two are married? We are not married, no. Okay. I'm just saying, we could be. Met the Yeah, no. Not in the so, church. You think it glorifies God? Yeah. Enough of this. All right. All right. Hey, take care. Have a good night. He must have been getting ready to lose his temper. And there he goes. The female minister who's living in fornication. Faith without works is dead. How do we know we believe If we say that we love him Yet we live in hypocrisy Do we abide in the vine And bear fruit unto him If we say that we love him, yet we do not obey his commands. Have we passed from death unto life? Does his spirit bear witness with ours that we are the children of God? Do we walk even as he walked? Are we born of God? Or is Jesus a pastime? Marvel not at my words This is the truth Does his spirit of holiness abide in you? You'd rather trust your own opinions But ask yourself to what end Your only hope is to repent and believe on Him. Have you passed from death unto life? Does His Spirit bear witness with yours that you are a child of God? Do you walk even as he walked are you born of god or is jesus a pastime have we passed from death unto life 
Does His Spirit bear witness with us that we are the children of God? Do we walk even as He walked? Are we born of God? Or is Jesus a pastime? Jesus a pastime